It's Wednesday, and you know what time it is. It's time for Bonehead Truckers of the Week. This is a place where we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, hit that bell, hit that like button or dislike button if it's still there for you. Okay? And leave a comment, alright? Just tell me how great I look in this video. <laughs> tell me how great I look in it. Don't you think I look good? I think I do. And it's December, and you know, like we did last year, Bonehead Truckers over the year. And check out TRC Freight. You guys own or operators, or you want to buy a truck, check out TRC Freight, okay? We'll talk a little bit more about them at the end of this video here, but uh, if you give them a call, 423-509-0580, he will sing you a song. The man, I know personally, and he will sing you a song. Okay, he will. He's a great singer. He's a great singer. <laughs> now you got these guys blocking fuel islands. This is a Western Express, okay? Hauling a Walmart.com trailer, a can, intermodal, pulled it off of a daggone train. And this guy's gonna go get him a chalupa from the Taco Bell inside this pilot, I guess, because he's sitting there looking dumb, blocking a fuel island. Okay. Hey, but at least you're not running into the house like you were a couple of weeks ago. Oh, shame on the mess. That was horrible, huh? Check out this guy. Not that guy. That guy's going to do nothing wrong. But the guy over. See the guy over in that red Volvo? You don't see him because he's going to go get him a cheeseburger and a soda water. I think so. I think so. I bet you ten bucks he is. I, I I got it right now, right here. All right, I got. It. And this guy sitting there blocking the fuel island where he's gonna wash his truck with a squeegee. And I I'm here to tell you, them squeegees, all right? They don't get your truck clean, and you're tearing up the squeegees while doing it. They're made for your windshield, all right? They ain't made to clean your truck, all right? Go to the streaking beacon, okay? All right. And then this guy's blocking the fuel island too. <laughs> this old rock bucket. I want you to tell me how this stuff happens right here. How's this stuff happen right here? This guy gonna go sit there and do something done like that, blocking the fuel line. Listen, I know he ain't getting the soda water because he's probably gonna go inside and clean out his drawers. You stands what I'm talking about? I says he got to go change his bridges. <laughs> Here we got bonehead four wheelers. Yeah, we get those two. That's right. That's right. Now check out this guy. He's going to go, whoa, I think he's, watch this guy. He's going to go slam right into the wall. No, the trailer. <laughs> I think he's running from somebody. Watch this, though. This is crazy. This is crazy. Watch this. He's going to get up and go. He's going to keep on going. Nope. Like, I bet you he stole that car. I bet you. How much you going to bet he stole that car? Because he goes on like nothing happened. But you know, if you're gonna go steal a car, why are you stealing that? That thing's probably 30 years old. Why do people steal a 30 year old car? Tell me that. Maybe because it's easy to hotwire? I can't know. There's the guy that he hit right there. But, uh, you know, whatever. I right, guy drove off, I guess. I can't know. But anyway, check out this next guy right here. He got to get in front of this truck. He, I, like, I got to get in front of him. I got to get in front of him. I want to show him. I, I, nope. He gone. <laughs> well, check out this old Dodge in this car in the rear end. And then boom. Golly. I guarantee you if that guy was driving a daggone Chevy, that wouldn't have happened. His brakes would have worked. <laughs> but he's driving a Dodge and his brakes don't work. <laughs> oh, I just... I just triggered somebody in the comments, huh? Just triggered. I just triggered them. That's what happens when you drive a Dodge. <laughs> look kind of bad, though. Look kind of bad. Well, let's look at this again. Boom. Hit them right there. And hit them right there. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, check out this truck to the left. All right? Check them out. Watch this. Listen. <laughs> oh, Western Express right there. <laughs> Hit that light pole. <laughs> blew a tire. That's how you make a tire go pop. That's how you do it. That's how you really blow a tire. 
Well, listen to that again. <laughs> oh, jeez. I tell you what. Now watch this. This there's a truck right here laying on its side in the middle of the road. It's blocked. Okay. Now watch this truck come running up here onto the left. He's now this guy's pulled over. He's got his flashers on and everything like this. But this other guy ain't paying no attention. Look at him. Oh God. Oh man. Terrible situation. Terrible situation right there. You got to pay attention there, driver. You see a guy with the flashing lights on like that. You got his hazard lights on. You know something's up. So you better slow down. Bet you that guy was in dreamland. Shame on the mess. Look at all that mess all over the road, right? Now check out this old fella right here. Is it an old fella or an old gal? Anyway, here's that truck over there. Let's go. Let's go take a look at what this fella's trying to do. Maybe he's handicapped. I can't know. You never know. You never know what's going on in these trucks these days. You just don't know. But anyway, let's let's ask the driver or anything. Hey, how's it going there, young lady? You hit something. You hit some hey, what'd you do? What'd you do there, driver? What'd you do? Like, okay. I'm waiting on say. <laughs> Waiting on uh, somebody, whatever, I can't know. Anyway, watch this truck up here in the distance, all right? He stopped, he stopped up there. But well, watch what he does up here. Watch what he does. He stopped in the in that lane, and then he's gonna go get in that, that U-turn. Like, that ain't for you there, driver. That ain't for you. You ain't supposed to be doing that there, driver. Finally, we have old Swifty Swift right here. He's on fire, old Swifty Swift. How you get your trailer on fire? There's Swifty. Looks like he's in a truck stop. How'd you do that there, driver? How'd you do that there, Swifty Swift? I done did seen it all. You dang on setting your trailer on fire. Says, they won't let me wear flip-flops at Swifty Swift and I'm gonna set my trailer on fire. Is that what happened? I can't know. Why don't we buy him a swing wide as a friggin' trailer shirt, okay? Just to send that message. Shame on the mess. All right, okay? Go, go check out the shirts down below. We got some good ones down yonder, and it supports the channel. Hey, and if you got clips you want to see on, you know, and have on Bonehead Truckers of the Week, send your clips or pictures to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. Okay, or join our Facebook group. Say no to Bonehead Truckers. It's a Facebook group. It's a special link down there below. You got to go check it out. Go check it out right now. If you guys are owner-operators looking for, for a good good quality company this this company trc freight is owned by veterans okay veterans of the trucking industry and service veterans okay so go check them out i've worked with them before they are transparent as all get out so i'm not going to lead you guys in the wrong direction okay hey i'll see you guys on sunday unless we have breaking news i'm just saying and i'm just saying and just go give that man a call give trc freight a call he will sing you a song on the phone, I guarantee you. If not, I don't know. I can't know. We'll have to fix that. 